Hi, I'm Jackie Van Ruller, creator of the Flow Method, and in today's video, I want to share some specific points that you can use on your face to help increase energy and motivation. We're in the middle of the COVID um, pandemic or crisis, and all of us are staying at home, and we're trying to get things done, and we may have our kids there and our partners and more people that um, you know are getting in the way of us actually accomplishing things. In addition, like without going to work or without um, doing our normal routine, it can be really hard to just feel motivated to get things done. We may feel like just watching TV or Netflix. And so it's more difficult, obviously, when, um, when we're in this situation to feel that motivation, to feel that energy. We're kind of like, ugh, all right? I know I went through a day like that yesterday, and so I wanted to share some quick techniques that you can use to kind of keep that motivation going, keep yourself energized, even in times like this where we really just don't feel like it. So we're gonna start by working um, from the bottom of our face upwards, and this kind of helps to just kind of increase some energy. So the first thing that you're gonna do is take your detector and just work this top part of your chin. So this is the point here that helps to um, balance your small intestine, but your small intestine also like fires up your gut. So it helps to really just get some heat going and some energy going in your body. You can just do this about 10 times or so. Next point we're gonna do is right here, um, right where the upper lip meets the nose. And you're gonna to wanna to avoid this spot if you're pregnant or think that you may be pregnant. This is known as the ejector point. But it's also a point that just stimulates your um, sympathetic nervous system and gets kind of your juices flowing. So you can just kind of do some little circles in this area. You can go up and down, whatever feels the best. And then you're gonna move up the nose just a little bit to the spot where if you come down the nose, it's like right where the bone kind of changes and softens up. So right in this area, you can just massage in there. And then also come to the side and get this point right over here. This is a point for the kidneys. In fact, all of these points here help to um, boost and strengthen the kidneys. The kidneys are like your body's battery, so it's like how much energy you have. So when your kidneys are feeling depleted and weak, you can feel like you have really low energy. You can feel really stuck and stagnant. You just wanna get these points right in here and that'll feel really good. So dentally, this point here at the very um, point where the nose cartilage kind of changes and softens up, this point also helps to purify and strengthen your blood. So it makes your blood um, like work better, flow better, um, and then the blood is also known as, an, or the hair is known as an extension of the blood. So it'll help to hy hydrate and strengthen your hair as well. I'm gonna do this. Then we're gonna move up to this point right here. This is a point that helps you breathe deeper. So this point here relaxes the diaphragm and encourages deeper breathing. So this is the point like right at the top of the nose, like the very outer, the part of the nose that like sticks out the furthest and the part where like your sunglasses or your glasses would sit. So breathing has to do with inspiration, right? So if you are taking breathing shallowly, you may not have much inspiration, but if you're taking deeper breaths and really filling up those lungs, emotionally that's about receiving inspiration, right? It's hard to feel motivated and energetic when you don't have any inspiration. We'll get that point. Then we're gonna move up to the very center of the forehead. And this is a point for the mind. This helps to turn off that monkey mind turn off that overthinking that's so common, um, especially when we are unmotivated. We're like, oh, I don't know if I should do this. Or I don't try to do this. And sometimes this overthinking keeps us stuck. And then we're going to move all the way up to the very top part of the forehead. And this has to do with just like the top of the head. So this is really just about raising energy and getting energy moving upwards in our body. So next we're going to move over a little bit. So we're going to find a point in here on the right hand side, it may feel kind of zingy. And it's gonna be just a little bit below the hairline and kind of right above like where the upper lip would be. And when you feel it, you'll feel it. You'll feel like a, just a little bit of a mm. And if you don't feel it, just massage a bigger area on there and you'll get that point. And you'll be like, oh, that's it right there. On the left hand side, you have a very similar point, but it usually won't feel as zingy. It might feel a little bit more relaxing. 
but these are both kidney points. And again, that kidneys are like your battery, your body's battery. So if you feel like your battery's depleted and you just don't have any energy, that kidney point helps to bring up that energy. Get those points there. Then we're just gonna wanna come across the forehead right in this area and just do some back and forth motions. So on the left hand side, this has to do with the spleen. And the spleen is another one of those points that has to do with the overthinking, not being able to make a good decision, um, just like too many thoughts running in your mind. So this helps to increase the connection between your head and your gut, helps you to lose your use your intuition a little bit more. So you might get a, more of an intuitive hits on the things that you should be motivated to do. And then we're going to hit the spleen point also on your face, which is going to be on the left hand side in line with the um, center of your nostril and directly underneath your eyes. So kind of in this area here. And that spleen point again is good for just helping to make good decisions, helping to turn off that overactive mind, turn off that monkey mind. And again, if you really can't find the point, just massage this whole cheek area here. And then on the other side, we're gonna to move to the liver point, which is directly underneath the nose um, and directly under the, the iris of the eye. And the liver sends energy throughout your body. So if you don't have a lot of energy, you're not gonna do much, right? So we really wanna make sure that we have good energy, good energy flow, that the liver is sending that energy equally to all of the organs of your body. And lastly, we're gonna finish off by working around the ears. So we're gonna go down the ears and around and just do little circles. This helps with a couple of things. This gets this regulatory point that helps to kind of bring your body back into its best state and help it to function the best. It also helps to set the um, points that we've done in and help them to be more effective throughout the day. So we're just gonna do little circles here around the ear also gets this point right here at the bottom for the thyroid. A lot of times if we're feeling stuck or stagnant, that can affect our thyroid and can make us feel even more stuck and stagnant. So by massaging that little thyroid point, it helps to give us a little bit of a boost of energy. I'm just going to do that on the other side as well. Feels so good to work around the ears. If you haven't done that before, just certainly give this a try. And in this video, I'm using this detector here. I have these available on my website. I'll put the link in my video to that. But if you don't have one of these and you're not sure about these techniques yet and you want to give it a shot with something else, a crochet hook with a blunt tip end works really well. You can also use the end of a makeup brush, the end of a pen, or something that like that that has sort of a blunt tip. You don't want it to be too pokey. And you don't want it to be too blunt or too big because you just won't feel the points. But find something with similar to that and you can use that as well. These points should never hurt. They might feel a little zingy or they might feel a little tender, kind of that hurt so good type feeling and that's fine. But you don't ever want to push into a point or um, use pressure so much that it hurts. Anyway, I hope that this video helped you to feel more motivated and more concentrated. And if it did, please pass it along and allow um, your friends to get that feeling of motivation as well. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my other holistic health and um, beauty tips, and I will see you soon.